Hi, this is Simon Leon from SimonLeon.com and today we are changing things up because we are going on a road trip. Wanna drive? Oh, but not just any road trip, no, no, no. We are taking a ride from Penang to Kuala Lumpur, four hours across Malaysia. And this one day trip is gonna be extra special because not only do we have two events going on, but we're also going to go upgrade my computer. Mac or PC? Hmm. Whether you're an internet entrepreneur, a digital marketer, or an online business owner, this includes YouTubers and video editors. Or perhaps you're a serial entrepreneur, like an author, speaker, trainer, like myself. Good job. You're also gonna need a more powerful machine that can keep up with your daily tasks. So, let's get ready to hit the road. You hear that? We're about to head out, so come on in. I'll take you with me. You're welcome. Oh, almost forgot. Let's do this. Vlog style. The road trip begins on a bright and sunny day alongside the beautiful coast of Penang Island, where we would need to cross the famous Penang Bridge in view from a distance over to the mainland to make our way towards Kuala Lumpur. We embark up the ramp as we make our way onto the Penang Bridge to prepare for a journey of approximately 360 kilometers, which is about 220 miles. And upon crossing over into the mainland of Malaysia, we will continue to travel through about three to five states depending on your route, passing through major cities and an adventure that takes you through long stretches of terrain, farmland, agricultural lands, highway roads, industrial areas, forests, mountains, passing by random buildings in the middle of nowhere, while fighting through weather and heavy traffic at times, and even a combination of both. Like going through a tunnel to a different dimension, this time traveling Odyssey would take approximately 4 hours, give or take, based on the path you take and how fast you're going. But I was in no hurry as I needed the time to make a big decision. You see, ever since I began my internet entrepreneurship journey full-time in 2006, I've been a Mac user. MacBook Pro to be exact. We go way back. And I've gotten multiple upgrades to newer versions over the years and not only recommended but had even bought them for friends, family, and as dumb as it sounds, ex-business associates and their spouses who, looking back now, obviously didn't deserve my generosity. But that's a topic for a different day. The point is, that's how committed I was to the Apple brand. I had always thought of myself as a Mac user for life because as they say, once you go Mac, you never go back. Or maybe that was about something else, maybe. But anyway, as an Apple consumer for over a decade, I already had to switch from iPhone and iPads to Android phones and tablets several years ago. And even though I never thought this day would come, it's time to do the same with my computer. Don't get me wrong, my Max and I, we have gone a long way. We've traveled the world together, changed a ton of lives, and made millions in the process. However, being a serial entrepreneur now, with multiple businesses running at any given time, I honestly need a main machine that can keep up. At a drop of a hat, I may need to be running applications for my presentation slides, word processing documents, spreadsheet files, graphics and image creation, audio sound editors, music for various work modes, and of course, the biggest CPU sucker of all, video editing. Not to mention everything else going on inside of my web browsers. I find myself constantly closing apps and windows, and in many cases, the MacBook Pro still cannot keep up. All the while, still sounding like it's struggling just to breathe through an expired oxygen mask with poisonous gas inside. As we say here in Malaysia, Tapulelo. So, an executive decision needed to be made. I've already been running my various private YouTube channels where I didn't need to make my own videos for a while now, but those required very little work and CPU power. And now, after neglecting a couple of my branded channels for some years now, I'm back with creating my own content and on a consistent schedule. Combine that with what I already have going on with my multiple businesses, private online projects, and another Anonymous YouTube channels. Computing power is no longer just an option, it's become a necessity. 
And so, upon arriving into the state of Kuala Lumpur amidst the middle of multiple events, including English fluency secrets and YouTuber millionaire secrets at our KL training center, we still make the necessary arrangements to stop by the granddaddy mall of all things digital. This is Laoyat. Inside, you can see there are no shortages of computing options whatsoever. Literally thousands of top of the line products to choose from. However, the particular machine my team members had originally decided on was completely out of stock. So, after multiple trips, many inquiries throughout the whole mall, and hours of interrogation later, we chose the next best thing to build a custom one with the latest, most powerful specs for all my heavy computing needs to run our various online businesses. These are just some of the specs that we ended up setting on for this new PC. Basically, a Windows 10 operating system running on an Asus ROG motherboard powered by an Intel Core i9 processor, the newest one out there that just came out. With 32 gigabytes of total RAM and 3 terabytes of hard drive storage space, plus an Asus ROG top-of-the-line graphics card and the latest master liquid cooling system technology, while topping it all off with a dual monitor setup with two Samsung 24-inch LED monitors. Quite an investment, right? But I assure you, very much worth it as we have huge plans for this bad boy in the many, many years to come. And so, after the guy at the store spends a couple hours putting all the parts together and testing it to make sure all is running smoothly, we then packed up the new machine and, armed with advanced puzzle piecing skills and countless hours of Tetris experience derived from childhood, albeit requiring multiple attempts and needing some slight accommodation, we were finally able to miraculously fit everything into the back of the car while still being able to fit five people inside the vehicle. This is what we call Malaysia Pule. And then back to Penang we go. Another four hour road trip ahead, back over the mountains and terrains again from where we came, which of course went all into the midst of the night. But alas, we made it. Back over the bridge and onto the island of Penang. Mission accomplished. Welcome home. Behold, the new magic creation specimen and a temporary new background for some of my upcoming videos, I suppose, until my new home office and recording studio is fully renovated and ready to go. As you can tell though, we won't be traveling the world together, but that's okay as I plan to be spending more time at home with family anyway, and without a shadow of a doubt, many more millions will be made with this baby right here. Which means you are now looking at the future of my digital enterprise. The ultimate multitasking machine with the latest and greatest technology that will finally be able to keep up with my aggressive daily workflow. This is where all the new magic is going to happen. So hey, don't mind if I might be a bit slow to upload new content over the next several days or even weeks ahead as I explore this brand new computer and all its software. Or who knows, perhaps I get so excited that I end up spending more time cranking out those anonymous videos that I've been talking about for my private niches. Yes, I'll definitely be more active with those as well. Let me know if you have any questions about this anonymous video's profit model or regarding this computer as well as what might be suitable for you and I'll do my best to help you out. Subscribe and tick that bell to see the new videos I'll soon be producing with this computer as well as more videos on internet marketing, online business, entrepreneurship, leadership, success, and making money with Google and YouTube. Like, share, and comment below what is most important to you in a computer and how you plan to use said computer to take your own business to the next level. And let me know how I can be of assistance. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.